Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Raveen, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts Podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ink Thoughts Podcast. Yeah, um, I've been taking a small break because yeah, I actually went to went for a vacation in Norway. It was amazing. The view was really insane. It was a very wonderful trip. Um, it's it's kind of expensive over there, but I'll say the, the money that I spent is worth it. The views that I've seen is wow, amazing. All right. Um, so. Today, um, I'm going to talk about celebrating small wins. We've been think- I mean, we've been hearing a lot of people talking about small wins, small wins. But what actually is the psychology be- behind it that actually makes it works, right? So, um, I've been doing some reading about it, and also combining with my own experiences and my observation of people around me, and I found that at the end of the day, everything is just related to one word the positive reinforcement. All right, so when you acknowledge your small wins, you probably feel excited that you're at the adrenaline rush that mm, you thought you could do a little bit more, mm, push yourself a, a little bit further, and because of that, you'll be able to challenge yourself a bit more. And most of the time, the likelihood of you accomplishing the next step or next goal is high because of that mindset that you're in. And when you're in that exciting state, you can set yourself up for more challenging and exciting goals. Sounds challenging, right? (laughs) With the help and under the influence of your very positive mindset now, you'll be able to identify what really excites you and you'll be able to accomplish your goals very soon. So basically, we could see it as the small wins are like the little reward to your effort. Sometimes it's not that little when you look at it. It really mm, encouraged you more than you could have imagined. And after you did something, you receive your reward, which will then build on to your intrinsic motivation to get more done too, despite the challenges that you're facing. So it utilizes a psychological link between effort and reward, making it more likely for you to reinforce the behaviors that you ha- that had led you to success. And after each cycle of success, it motivates you to try harder for a continued success because we all crave for the good feeling of success, right? Also, when you could see yourself accomplishing um, so much, you're more likely to develop or shift into a more positive mindset where you could see that even though things could be difficult but you'll be able to do it even if you can't fully do it at least you're up for a try Mm, or even giving it several attempts which at the end of the day is what we want and it's a realistic way of looking at accomplishing big goals isn't it sometimes we know that our goals are massive and the thoughts of on accomplishing it would mean that there are a lot to be done alongside all the uncertainties that are very much unknown yet. Yeah, I know it sounds very overwhelming. <laughs> and it is the human nature that we feel afraid of all this unknown because we are naturally not that great in managing or taking the uncertainties. And sometimes when we're not in the right mindset, thinking about that massive goal itself is already demotivated enough. And we wouldn't even have the head space to think about breaking the massive goals down into doable small goals, which is a realistic approach. And for me, I guess I'd like to share one of my recent small wins here. Basically, what happened was I went to an interview, which was a four hours train journey away from where I'm living now. I traveled there via train very early in the morning. Everything was alright throughout the journey until I was supposed to get off the train to where I'm heading to for my interview. Then, when the train stopped, the train door wasn't opening. I tried a few doors, but they were all all not working. I started to panic for a little bit. I looked at the emergency thing at the side, but it wasn't the usual like button type, so I don't really know how it works. And... And so I quickly ran to the other coach, 
but the doors there were not opening too. And the worst case is, I don't know, is it because it was too early or what? There was literally no one on the train. I have no one to ask for help. And then the train started moving. <laughs> My mind went blank for a second. Luckily, I managed to get off at the next station. I then quickly checked on my phone about the time I was about I have about 35 minutes left before my interview. I was feeling slightly relieved that time. I then quickly checked how long would it take for me to travel to the interview place. It said 13 minutes. I was like, yeah, although it's slightly expensive, but I could arrive there on time. So I feel like, yeah, it's doable. So I quickly um, tried to book an Uber. I waited for 10 minutes. And you know what? There was literally no car at all. I started getting a little nervous at this point. I saw, I saw someone there and I went to her to ask if she knows if it's usually very hard to get an Uber here. Apparently, she's also here for an interview. So, so it's the, her first time too and she wasn't able to get one at that moment. I have no choice. I saw the taxi service at the side and so I went there. And I asked them about it like, the prices and how long would it take. Unfortunately, the earliest available car would be free only after one hour, which would be a bit too late for me to go to my interview. You might ask, why don't I try bus or the train to go back to the previous station? Well, the train is coming after one and a half hour and the bus is coming after one hour too. So it's not the most convenient choices that I have that time. Well, I was panicked to be honest, but I don't feel like giving up yet. You know what, I went all the way from where I'm staying down there to that place for this long hours journey and I woke up so early in the morning. It's not the time to give up yet. So what I did was, I went to a car, it was a lady in there. I knocked on the window, she rolled down her window and I told her what what is happening like I know this sounds very ridiculous and I continue explaining my situation after listening to me and she checked where I wanted to go and she asked me to get onto the car she sent me that she's so kind I was so grateful that I've met such a kind-hearted lady I'm really really grateful for that throughout the journey she was cheering me up and wishing me the best of luck for my interview too and throughout the journey <laughs> Um, her electric car is even showing like um, the car is on low battery now. She's she's still trying to comfort me, telling me like, I'm sure we'll get there on time. But actually, in my head, I was thinking like, oh no, will she be able to get back to her place after sending me? <laughs> well, everything worked out at, at the end. And so now, mm, you might be questioning, what does this have to do with small wins? I'll reveal it now. So since young, I've never a brave person. I'm always a timid girl most of the time. But this time around, I really want to pat on my shoulder, telling myself, Wirin, you did great. You step out of your comfort zone to try getting what you want to solve the problem that is right in front of you. And since that day, I actually can feel myself being, being braver. I don't care as much of how people are seeing me compared to the past, which was one of my barriers in doing something different. And I noticed I now have the mindset for challenging myself for more, keep asking myself for more, which I think is a good thing to me. Of course, I'm not saying that I ignore all the little things that I did. I still celebrate my small wins, just that I appreciate what I did and I try to ask myself, what's next now? So I guess the psychology of celebrating small wins will explain itself when you let yourself experience it once. All of us might have small wins here and there, so try to look at yours, recognize your effort and your success. Then utilize it to push you further. You might be amazed of how helpful it could be. Share me your story below. I can't wait to hear more exciting and motivating stories from you. Well, I guess that's it for today's episode hope everyone enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time goodbye
Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple Podcast. If you are not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple Podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at hello at ingthoughts.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of ingthoughtspod. Thanks again and see you all next week. Bye-bye.